Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Chrysler. When I was in ninth grade, I started straightening my hair and it was a magical moment. I think that every curly girl goes to this where they stumble upon a flat iron and they just go in and they find this new identity with straightening their hair. You don't have to worry about curly hair products. And I felt really confident with straight hair. We all know that there's a bunch of trial and error as far as products goes, and you're growing as a teenager, so it's completely normal to not really know what to do unless you have family or other friends that can help you along the way. But. I was not that person. So back then, I straightened my hair all throughout high school. I gave it up for Lent in my senior year, and that was a pretty cool time because it was my first time giving up straightening my hair. And I straightened my hair throughout college, and about five years ago, that's when I started experimenting with dyeing my hair. I had ombre purple hair, which was so beautiful, and I bleached it at one point. I was blonde for a week. I did all this stuff to my hair. I have videos of me bleaching it and getting red ombre hair, and that was actually the last time that I dyed my hair. I can't remember how long ago it was. I'll leave exactly how long ago it was up here. But that basically fried my hair, and my curls just went limp from here down. And it was a moment of realization that like, I am just messing up my hair, and I really didn't appreciate it. I thought that my hair was normal and my curls were fine throughout my entire 20s, but it really wasn't. So that's when I decided to do a chop. It wasn't the biggest chop. I couldn't go super short. I do have acne on my chest and my back. I'm currently working on it. I will be doing a video on that. If you want that, just shoot me a comment down below. But anyway, yeah, I could never go short. So I went to about here, and I do have a video on that. And it was the shortest hair I'd ever had in my life. And I did have about three to four inches of straight hair at the end. My hairdresser recommended that I didn't go any shorter because it well, probably would have just freaked me out. So that was when I started my curly hair journey and I wore my hair curly a lot more. And this was a whole new identity for me. So now I have some questions that I wrote down for myself, which I think answer a lot of questions and it can help you self-reflect on this whole thing and I'm just gonna get started. So number one, why did I start straightening my hair? And I think the reason was I just felt like I was different and I didn't know what to do. And also where I grew up, there weren't a lot of people with curly hair. It wasn't very diverse. So I am mixed and it was already hard for me to identify with being black because I was raised by my Asian mother and she didn't know what to do with my hair growing up. So I automatically gravitated towards straightening it, which made me feel Asian, which I am. I'm Asian and I'm black. And back then I didn't feel that way. I felt completely different and I wasn't fully accepting of who I am. I was so attached to race and not me as an individual, which was wrong and I feel you know bad for myself, but hey, I was a kid technically and what else did I know? And I carried that Asian identity for a long time because I liked Asian things. I grew up in a Filipino household and to me straightening my hair made me look more Asian and to me it was the easy way out. I didn't have to worry about my hair. I could just go to bed and I was very lazy and I didn't even try to cultivate a relationship with my natural hair, which everyone told me was beautiful but I just couldn't see it for myself. And of course, why did I stop straightening it? And that was because I damaged it and I had no choice. And I decided to just crack down on this whole thing and what was I doing to my gorgeous hair that everyone told me was beautiful. And I think I just grew up because as you get older, you get more comfortable with yourself. And that's why I'm not too afraid of getting older because the older I've gotten, the more confident I become. If you're young and you're feeling confused, it just gets better and you'll get there. We are represented so much more in the beauty industry and it is so nice to see that curly hair has become like a huge industry as far as products and people sharing their curly hair routines. So I wish I had that growing up and I think you guys are super lucky. I do want to touch on being mixed and that whole aspect of it because I think I did have some feelings associated with that. I definitely had some weird feelings about, you know, being accepted and 
not knowing who I was as far as like where I belonged. If I grew up in a household with both parents, I think it would be different because I would have, you know, two parents, one of each race, and I'd have a better identity, but I didn't. So that's why I just attached myself to one and that was what I knew. But I realized as I got older that my identity isn't just my race. Just realizing that I am me, yes, I am mixed, and this is what I look like. I have curly hair and it's cool and this is who I am. And just trying to accept me for who I am, not trying to put myself in a stereotype or a box. And this is something that I've dealt with for a long time because I've always done that. I like putting things in categories because I think it's fun, but it really gets unhealthy when you're trying to put yourself in categories because it's limiting. Like with fashion, I love a bunch of styles, but I don't consider myself just one style because I like a bunch. The next question is, how did I learn to love my hair? So I really learned by just letting it curl. And if you're going to the curly girl method or you're trying to stop straightening your hair, um, this is the perfect question, I think, because when you first start out, your hair isn't curly. It's not what it actually is and it takes a long time. And if you're in that process, you know what it's like where your hair just doesn't curl. Like my hair was not like this a long time ago. And since I've been doing my hair curly for a long time, I can just appreciate how beautiful and how fun and interesting. And I also started wearing less makeup and I let my hair speak for myself, which was kind of weird because curly hair has a lot of personality. And I think there's a big thing with big hair and standing out and feeling like we have to shrink ourselves down. And that's kind of how I felt when I straightened my hair. I felt like I didn't stand out, I kind of blended in with everyone else because I didn't look as different. I already looked different because I was mixed. And so I think straightening it just made me blend in even further. But now with my hair, I feel like I can wear minimal makeup and my hair is just my biggest accessory and I love it. So now we're moving on to talking about the guilt that I felt with straightening it. And this was going on for quite a while, probably almost two years because I was on this whole curly hair journey. I wanted to set an example for people, but I felt like a hypocrite if I straightened my hair. And I actually had this conversation, well, I basically word vomited to my hairdresser who's been cutting my hair since I was in seventh grade. She's from the Caribbean. Um, I told her that I felt guilty about it and she told me, no, you shouldn't feel guilty about it. It's your hair, you can have fun with it. You have the option to straighten it and wear it curly and that's great. It was such an eye-opener because she was completely right. Like, I've been so good and so appreciative of my hair, and I'm sure my hair appreciates it. So I started straightening it here and there. Last year, I probably straightened it three times, four times. Knowing that I can straighten my hair and it'll curl right back up if I do it once a month, twice a month, it's completely fine. And I don't think you should feel so guilty and hung up about it. As long as you're taking care of it on a regular basis, I think it's completely fine. Like it's our hair. It's just like when we do our makeup. I'm pretty sure our skin doesn't like the makeup that we're putting on it, but we do it anyway because it's fun. As long as you wash it off and take care of the actual skin and try to you know, counteract what we're doing to it, you just have to listen to it. If you're going overboard and your hair is getting a little damaged, then that's when you know you just gotta reel it back in. Cut so that is it for this video. I hope this was helpful to any of you who are going through curly hair journey or was feeling the guilt that I had with straightening your hair because it was definitely something that I just kept to myself for a while and I finally just thought to myself, hey, there's got to be some other people out there in the world who are feeling exactly the same way I am. So I hope this helped. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a magical day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.